My name is Matthew Hansel and I am a doctoral student at UTS. My paper was entitled The Case Study for Standard Deviation as a Reliability Measure for Public Transport Managed by Headway. It's a, an empirical observation of public transport operations in Sydney to test whether the mean and the uh, standard deviation of the end-to-end -end run times could be used uh, as a useful estimator for assessing reliability, specifically examining the uh, middle and 97th percentile, as well the paper examined uh, headway-driven and timetable-based services. The measure stabilize and reduce framework was uh, coined by Dr. Zybox and um, examined by me when we were working with Transdev on the Inner West Light Rail Service Delivery Improvement Program. Uh, the idea being that if you measure a um, factor of a service that you can then reduce the variation by stabilizing the um, operations and once you have stabilized the operations you can then reduce um, the variable and improves the system overall. Now that's easier to achieve if the running times are normally distributed, um, but the assumption is on uh, timetabled services that they would be positively skewed, um, which does not seem to hold up too well in Sydney, uh, mainly because the uh, timetable adherence is not very good. Uh, but it also works if the services are not normally distributed, but the mean plus the two standard deviations is a reliable estimate of the 97.72 percentile. 72 percentile. Um, we could, of course, go for the 99 percentile, but uh, let's try and get um, good operations before we get great. People have questioned why this paper was necessary, and the answer is quite simple. While reviewing a previous paper, Neil Douglas questioned the assessment that the transit runtimes were normally distributed, and that the mean plus two standard deviations estimated the 97th percentile. That's quite reasonable because you would expect well-operated transit to be right skewed. However, the data seemed to support that assessment in, um, from Sydney. But the literature review found no empirical studies that explicitly address that question, and I was quite surprised by that. Um, so this paper does just that and only that, so that future authors um, have a simple yes or no answer. So the question is, are they times normally distributed, and does the um, mean plus two standard deviations estimate the 97.72 percentage point. Short answer is yes for headway based services um, and it's close enough to normal and an uh, acceptable estimator. Examining the cumulative probability plot for the inner west light rail running times you will see that it is distributed as would be expected for a normal distribution. The 97th percentile is close to the 97th percentile estimator with half a minute difference. There is still a range of um, runtime variability here due to inefficient operation of the traffic lights on the on street running section. Uh, the CSELR, not as um, reliable back in May in 2020 when it was still being bedded down. Uh, it got much better after the um, RMS came to the party and started to improve the signalling on George Street. However, uh, this particular data set was still showing two different peaks for the uh, central station to circular key uh, section, but as you can see in the graph, the 97.7 percentile and the mean plus the two standard deviations normal model um, are almost exactly the same. Uh, it is a, a reasonable estimator. Uh, and again, it is um, almost normally distributed, even with the two peaks. Uh, the Sydney Metro is being a 
fully grade separated configure controlled system um, has much better um, and tight controls. Uh, you'll notice that the deviation is really between 36.5 and 39.5 um, minutes, which is barely three minutes, and most of that is within a minute. Um, this is from the uh, testing, so maybe with passengers it would be a little less tightly controlled. Uh, but if we take out the outliers using a trimming of 3%, it looks almost normal. But again, the 97.7 um, percentile and the mean plus two standard deviations are almost the same, so uh, the normal model can be used as a reasonable estimator, at the very least an estimator of the um, you know, rough limits. Now, the um, important point out of this is that the natural system is almost is normal, but when we apply a strong timetable, we get abnormal uh, systems. So uh, the normal distribution applies from um, headway-based services and things that are operating naturally. Um, Again, sorry, the Sydney Metro not, uh, is not normal, but the estimator is almost normal. So um, again, uh, what the hypothesis was that the normal distribution model, the mean end-to-end -end runtime, and the mean plus two standard deviations would provide a reasonable estimator for the distribution, the middle, and the 97th percentile of the end-to-end -end runtimes. Now, based on the empirical observation, um, the hypothesis was not invalidated. Uh, so we can conclude that it is a uh, reasonable hypothesis. The totally uh, controlled one from the Sydney Metro are artificial, um, but it still provided a reasonable estimate of the middle and the 97th percentile. So um, it is still a useful estimator even for um, uh, time-tabled services. So this means that then we might be able to use statistical process control and uh, continuous optimization frameworks such as measure stabilizers and reduce in order to improve service. The public only has a limited pool of resources from which we can allocate um, to public sector organizations in order to achieve the public value that we uh, want. And when our parliaments authorize a public sector organization to deliver a mandated public value, they're only authorized to achieve it um, using the minimal amount of resources that they uh, could do. So a public sector organization must be efficient. It must continually optimize in order to maintain its legitimacy. Um, and because the number of vehicles is affected by the running time variability, the efficiency of a public transport service will be determined by the reliability of its running times. So, in order to minimize um, the wasted waiting times for a timetable and um, to minimize the wasted times for passengers, the public transport organization needs to control the variability in its service delivery. Based on the um, empirical observation that the uh, mean plus the two standard deviations is a reasonable estimator for the 97th percentile. We can rework uh, Vucic's equations about the number of vehicles to include um, standard deviations for the end-to-end run times inbound and outbound and for the turnaround times at the time type, uh, the terminus, uh, which is the equation shown. It's not a complicated equation. It's not a complex theory. This paper was really um, just an empirical proof uh, that this all um, all tied together and was uh, theoretically valid. And for natural run times, um, for services which are managed by headway or which are frequent enough, then um, yes, the normal and um, the standard deviation uh, are valid estimators for uh, public transport. I would like to thank uh, Transdev Australasia and the Army of Australia Commonwealth Cooperative Research Centre for um, funding my uh, doctoral research scholarship.